So today I will be installing a 1000 watt 48 volt electric front hub motor to this mountain bike you see behind me. I ordered it off of wish.com and if you'd like to see the unboxing video of all the contents that come in uh, uh, the box when you order it from wish, um, I have that in a previous video. But uh, stick with me today and we're going to be putting this tire on the bike as well as replacing the brakes. So there's an emergency electrical cutoff feature and the control unit that will power everything. The battery, I think I'm going to have it made in China and shipped over here to the, to the specifications of the bike. So we might install that later and do a range test. But for now, we'll be putting the tire on the front of the bike, um, switching out the brakes and installing a con the control unit to make this whole thing work. So. Stick with me, should be a good time. So I've already run into a bit of a snag, as you can see, right there. This bolt, it's square, has two square sides, but it's not fitting down into those two forks. So I'm going to see what I can do about forcing it down. Another issue is that the fork seems to be not quite wide enough. I'm going to keep working on it. Okay, so it does fit. It didn't seem to change anything when I swapped it. So I put these two washers with the tongue on it over. So I guess they're meant to be that way. I don't know. I'm new at this. Anyway, it's time to tighten some bolts and flip the bike over. First mistake, and this one could be a major one down the road, I put the motor on backwards. The indication was the tread. And then I looked at the instructions and it showed that the wire is supposed to be on this side. So I have to flip it back over and swap it around. So I still need to figure out where I'm going to put the control unit. I could put it on a rack back here along with the battery, or I could mount it right here. This bike doesn't come with a water bottle cage, so I'd have to drill some holes and then uh, use some bolts to, to crimp it in, and I'd need my father-in-law's help to do that, so we might be taking the bike over there. But uh, I at least right now want to get the throttle on and also get the brakes for the emergency cutoff as well. I want to get that done uh, before we worry about the power unit. So these are the replacement brakes. This wire is a wire that will hook to the control unit, so each time the brake is pulled, it actually shuts the power off to the motor. It's more of a safety feature, and a lot of people opt into or opt out of this step. Um, I'm going to throw these on just because it doesn't look too hard to do. Um, I can just tie them in with the existing brake lines. And uh, you'll see they're a little bit bulkier than the existing brakes, but uh, 
I think they'll look pretty cool when they're done. Chrome it out a bit. Man, look at that sky. It's a beautiful night to be doing this. Anyway, I had to put my phone in the fridge because it started overheating because I'm working in like 85 degree weather even at night. But you can see I got the first brake installed. What I had to do was remove the grip. I have it bumped in right now. I might readjust everything depending on how the other side looks. But I removed the grip. Then under here, there's a little nut or a bolt, you know, a little nut under here where you have to remove the, sorry for the blurriness, where you have to remove the gears, gear shifter, and then the brake and slide it on. So I'm gonna do it on the other side. So with this step right here, you have to loosen the brake cable just by twisting this silver piece. And what you need to do is get it loose enough so you can take this little uh, knob here and slide it, or slide the cable up through this slot and then be able to pop the knob out. So that's what I'm working on right now. This one does not want to come out as easy as the last one did. It's a little twisted in there. So I gotta be able to get it out nice and smooth. I was able to do it with a set of pliers and just popped right out. So now it's time to install the new brake. Put the knob in here, then you run the brake line through that slot and then tighten it up. In fact, I don't even use the one that comes with it. I use the one that's already, I don't even, the silver piece. I use the one that comes with the brake lines. So don't need this. So here comes a tricky part. I need to figure out the best configuration because the gear shifter here is a handle gear shifter. And so I need to be able to, well, when you, get, when you have your battery all hooked up, you're not really switching gears very much. But if you wanna switch gears, I need to make that easily accessible as well as have the ability to reach full throttle comfortably. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten my brakes right here. So this looks like a good spot for the brakes. I've kind of bumped them in to fit everything. Actually, I'm going to just bump them out a little bit. Make sure they're even so it's a little er easier ergonomically for uh, both sides. Sorry about the dogs barking. Then I'm gonna throw on the throttle, which actually fits pretty nicely right here. And then, geez, those dogs. And then I'll throw on the gear shifter. I'm gonna make sure the gear shifter cable is on top of my brakes, cause that, Way it doesn't get in the way so something like that that feels pretty good all right here's the handlebars all configured I have the new, oh, the new brake levers installed connected to the brakes there's probably gonna be some tightening there that needs to get done but then as you can see I have my throttle installed my brakes over here and the gear shifter. 
I was actually really surprised at how well everything fits together. As you can see, that throttle sits right on top of the brakes, which then makes room for the gear shifter as well. So pretty pleased. I have a lot of wire management to do. I might worry about that once I get the control unit installed. Hooking it up to the power unit, to the control unit, is actually really easy. Uh, they basically have everything ready for you. So for instance, uh, the only place that the brake connectors can fit is in this piece. Uh, this will go to the battery. Um, that's the only piece I'm missing before I can give this thing a go. Um, these go straight to the motor. And then also you connect in, in these wires and basically all you have to do is match them by color. So it's really easy to do. Again, like I said, got a lot of wire management. I think what I'm going to do is put this bag, which actually came with it, on the back here with a the rack. Then I'll put the control unit and the battery in there and then somehow can... Uh, somehow... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, why can't I think of the word? <laughs> Secure. That's the word I'm looking for. Jeez, it's getting late. Started when it was light. Anyway, that's it for now. Everything's pretty much hooked up. Uh, gotta secure the power unit. Got all the cables hooked up. Uh, up to the throttle. Got the brakes going. Those are hooked up. Need to tighten the back ones though. And then I have the front hub 1000 watt 48 volt motor installed. Stay tuned for the rest of the build and an endurance test.